show me the good. Today, me and my wife are going to be talking about, mostly her, individual lashes, large tray, 250 pieces, 0 0.07 millimeter, blah, 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 blah. I am clueless <laughs> when it comes to these things. I am just merely introducing this product to you. This looks like a field of like little hairs. It looks like black grass that's growing. Uh, I'm going to have her talk about this product and why she chose this. Uh, is, is it eyelashes? Yes. Eyelashes. Okay. <laughs> Forgive me, folks. I, this is nowhere near my specialty. But go on and talk about this product. All right. So, again, uh, I've been... Um... You know, I've been experimenting with eyelashes. I was not blessed with long eyelashes. So, you know, whatever you can do to, you know, to help, I guess, with that. So, oh, I went on Amazon and then um, I, I started researching about individual, individual lashes. And I found these clusters. So, uh, this one, it's by the brand g g mary sorry guys um and so it comes with different sizes 16 15 14 from 16 up to 8 milli millimeters but i guess there's 30p and 40p i have no clue what that means i think it means how many eyelashes per per cluster so anyways i bought them um i haven't used them yet but i found very good reviews and uh are they different sizes yes so they go from 16 millimeters up to eight but um i don't know if you can see this one seems to be a little more curved so maybe if you put it on the side let's see here i think so yeah so Yeah, so one, it's there's more curve to it. So the ones on top are a little more straight. The ones at the bottom have more curve. And these ones are very long, actually. So I don't know if I'm going to be using the longer ones, but definitely the shorters. But yeah, uh, I got those after I I purchased the, the other set that we talked about, the Kiss, the Kiss set. So I got this ones, and um, once I use them, yeah, we'll we'll come back and talk about it a little bit more. How do you manage to pick, pluck, move, take them out? Uh, so because they're so delicate, you need to use uh, tweezers. And when you remove them, you have to make sure you're removing them from the um, from the root. And you have to pull them very carefully. I have done that where, um, you know, me being new with uh, ex eyelash uh, extensions or clusters, I pulled some of them and I kind of, I broke them. I, I, I broke them into two. So these are very, very... Uh, brittle. Yes. They're not brittle. They're very fragile. They're good quality. It's just, you know, they're very, um, I guess... Uh, Delicate. Delicate, exactly. So, again, you just got to be careful. And Are um, these reusable or do you disinfect and put them back the same area? You pluck, pick, pull yes. them off. So, yes, um, as long as you take care of them, you can reuse them. Uh, I haven't used these ones yet, but I have used other brands. We'll, we'll talk about it. And, um, yeah, as long as you, you're careful in how you remove them from the tray, how you remove them from your eyes, and how, you know, clean them up and let them air dry, you brush them, you can put them back in and you can use them, reuse them again. I think you can reuse them up to uh, maybe 10 times or more, as long as you take care of them. How do you uh, disinfect, clean them? Okay, so for that... Um, I remove them from my eyes with an oil-based makeup remover and I gently pull them out of my eyelashes. Again, you have to be gentle. You don't want to pull your own eyelashes. After that, I like to put them in a little bit more of that oil-based um, makeup remover 
once they're uh, sitting there for, I don't know, maybe five minutes, then I use a uh, spoolie. Um, it's a brush that you, you can get those disposable ones. You use those on the eyelash to remove any um, leftover glue. Then you just wash them with water. You just let them sit on water. Yeah, these ones you can put them in water and they won't get ruined. Then you brush them, let them air dry, and put them back in the box. Now, you mentioned before glue. Is, is there a specific glue that works well with this? Is there any glue to avoid? Make sure that you have the proper stick to it in your eye. Yes. So, these are, you know, these are temporary. These are not supposed to be there for, I don't know, a month. These are meant for a week to two weeks. So... You don't want to get professional glue for uh, extensions. There's many other glues. Um, I, we're going to talk about the one I have. Um, but yeah, use a professional. Oh. So you don't want to use or you have to use professional glue? No, you don't want to use professional. Okay. Why is that? Because professional um, glue, I guess from what I... From what I read, it has um, a lot of stronger chemicals, and if you don't, if you are not careful, it can go into your eye and it burn your eye. Who knows what can happen? So you leave that to the professionals. Uh, I just use the um, the bond, and it's meant for this type of uh, eyelash clusters. Great. For anybody that's new to this kind of like world of eyelashes, do you recommend them that uh, they go through a professional first and so that way they get like consulting? Uh, but because you're a makeup artist, you kind of had an idea what you wanted, right? But uh, is this something that people can tackle on their own? I think so. You know, just like anything, be cautious um yes i have uh, um, you know i know how to apply eyelashes on others and myself because i used to be a makeup artist or i've i've done makeup uh, makeup on others and myself um just be careful you don't want to you know poke your eye um so maybe maybe just start with the strip lashes and 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 go from there uh, again, is it's really up to to people to to use this, but I do recommend them. I think it's it's fine. But if you are not in any way familiar with eyelashes, I would suggest to start with strip lashes and then move on to these ones because these ones you have to be more, I guess, precise on the application. Fantastic. Anything else that you want to add about this product? Uh, no, that will be it. All right, folks, if you guys decide you'd like to purchase this product, I provided a link down below in our description that will take you to Amazon. Uh, please give the link a click. That would help us out in a small commission if you decide to purchase this. Uh, that helps us out to keep our YouTube videos afloat and uh, just to support the channel. Any questions you guys have, feel free to leave a comment. We'll see you guys in the next video.